Hey guys, this is Andrew for TradingTenses.com. So I've been working as a professional trader for the past six years in Hong Kong and I've decided a few months ago to create my YouTube channel because I want to show you all the different tools and techniques that I use at work that work for me. I'm going to show you how to use it yourself. So trading is mostly about, so of course, technical analysis, but also analyzing the data and to read the flows. So basically, this is what technical analysis is as well. You just do it a different way. So if you want to know about all this stuff, you guys are in the right place. So in today's video, I want to make an update on GameStop. Let's get into it. So we had, you know, a pretty tough week on GameStop. So this is, I'm on the four hours time frame. Once again, guys, the four hours time frame is for me, the best time frame to use because it's both used by professional investors like long-term institutional clients and some short-term traders that just do some buy and sell orders every day. So this time frame gives you a lot of signals and those signals are for me, you know, more trustful than the signals you can find, for example, in the hourly time frame. Anyway, so here the situation is. So this was the big drop we had, you know, minus 30%. This was the huge rebound we had just right after. And I told you guys that this kind of stuff, you know, it, it takes time to be fixed. You know, there was a lot of damage that was created that day. You know, a lot of fear that was in the market. And I know that this fear is coming again because the price action was bearish for the past, like this was March. The past 10 days you know the past two weeks but from a technical analysis perspective we are bullish guys we are bullish look at that i'm on the four hours time frame once again the most used moving average is the 200 period uh, moving average you can use it uh the simple one or the uh, exponential weighted one which just gives more importance to the recent past. I like to use the simple ones, but you can do just use the ones that have the best reactions. And you can see that we are trading above this 200 period moving average. So this is the first thing to show you when you take a step back that we are in a bullish price action. Now, if I go on a shorter term, guys, I showed you this triangle that I was seeing here. So triangles usually occur in false waves of Elliott wave development but they also can appear on the second wave. So to me, the counting I was making here. So here I have my correction in ABC and I was seeing a one, two, three, four, five coming right now. Once again, on the short term, I have this triangle and what happened the last four hours of the market on Friday is not nice, guys. I don't like this last candle because it is closing below the basis of my triangle which is not good but once again guys to have a breakout you need to have two consecutive candles that are trading below your support level here i have only one so this could be a fake breakout if the first candle on monday closes above this 162 level so this is what we are looking for this is what you guys want to see on the first four hours of trading on monday now second thing that is uh, interesting is once again so as you can notice we are we rebounded just above this 200 pre moving average that acted as support. So it's going to keep acting as support on a bit longer term. So basically, this is a bit the safety line, all right, guys? The 152, 150 level roughly will act probably as support again on Monday. So we can have maybe a bearish opening, but the first four hours will be very important. Then last thing I wanted to show you is that the volumes have not kick off yet, guys. All right. So I go back on the daily time frame because the volumes are more clear. So once again, don't focus at all my drawings, guys. I will come back to it once we're going to break this triangle on the upside. I still believe it strongly. Let's see. Of course, you know, this is only one scenario. What could happen is that we go lower and, you know, we have an XYZ. You know, it's a different type of correction when you have three ABC. This is possible as well. But for now, this is not what is happening. If this happens, probably we're going to revisit the 110 level. But once again, guys, this is not what is happening right now. Right now, we are bullish. And what I wanted to show you is the volumes, guys. 
look at the weak volumes that we had. Once again, the volume refers to the number of people that agreed upon a price. And you can see that not that many people agree on the price we had the past 10 days. I mean, people don't trade, all right? People wait, people hold, people are waiting for some information or some uh, you know moves some flows whatever they're waiting for they are waiting and when when the volumes are going to kick off and if then we don't have this bullish price action that i expect it means you know things are actually happening a different way that i was thinking but for now the volumes are low we are correcting i told you guys that this would probably take one or two weeks it's been 10 days we have a big week coming uh, with the expiry on the 16th of april that is huge. Once again, you know, this every month, the first month's expiry is huge. But what I see on this expiry is a lot of upside calls that I bought every day, you know. So this is telling me that the bullishness is still in this market. Last thing I wanted to tell you guys. So let me go back on the four hours. So here, for now, the triangle is holding, all right? Fake breakout. So let's see what we have on Monday. And the, the level you want to break out on the upside is the 180, all right? If we trade above 180 for more than four hours, I mean, eight hours, I mean, two candles, consecutive candles, this is the signal, guys, that it's starting. And once it's starting, I showed you my scenario. It's like, you know, very bullish. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new and stay close to show. I see you guys.